Hi, this is Julian for Pro Tools Expert, and I want to show you a quick tip to do with dealing with breaths in voiceover. In a long voiceover, it's important to keep the breaths because if you remove them altogether, it doesn't sound human. But in a short extract like this, the breath could go altogether. Here it is. The Pro Tools Expert podcast offers tips, tricks, and more in a weekly discussion about Pro Tools and related professional recording equipment and techniques. I think removing that breath altogether wouldn't be a great idea because you would hear the in and out points, especially once some compressions got onto it. So finding a little bit of kind of room tone to replace it with would be ideal, but I haven't got much to play with. I've got a little bit at the end here. This is my longest bit, and it's only about a third of a second. So it's just about long enough. If I come in here and I select over here, we'll take that right out to the edges to make sure that we lose the whole thing, and I paste it in, I find I'm coming short. But there's a really useful alternative to a straight paste, which is using, if we look up on the edit menu in paste special, repeat to fill selection or command option V. By using that, what it'll do is it'll offer to batch fade between the joints and just repeat it to fill the selection. And in most cases, it does a really good job of making an invisible fill, as long as your room tone hasn't got any annoying noises in it. Popping that in there and playing back. Or oh, in a weekly discussion, that's beautifully filled. So that's a really neat trick you can use to fill a gap that's longer than the available audio you have to fill that gap with.